What's going on, everybody? Uh, so if you guys can't already tell, it's pretty getting late. I don't know if this camera will really register it too much, but it is getting later out and or darker out because I kind of started the day late. Had a bunch of other stuff I had to do, but this is going to be kind of a quick video because I made a modification to the turbo that should allow it to finally fit in this beast. So I think this time I'm just going to flip this over and then put the turbo up on top of there and see how that goes. But I kind of wanted to show you guys and bring you guys along me with the process of me doing that. So anyway, let's get started. I think that's gonna work. Look at that. Oh man, that is so cherry. That fits in there nicely. We got enough room back here now for the exhaust, hopefully. And I can flip this around, that's no problem. So that way we don't run into this. But now we have clearance here. We got the, the uh, exhaust for the intake here. We can easily modify this, just cut it and move it over, or just get a flex pipe or something. Maybe I think they make flexes for these. I'll order more parts, which means I'll be on Summit Racing tonight. But this is how perfection works. Now, here's the deal. I'm gonna show you this here actually right now. Okay, so this is how this is supposed to work, okay? This bracket here is made out of, I made all of this out of scrap. So I have a bunch of scrap material, you know, and I ended up getting some of that and brought it into where I work and I'm cutting this down and kind of making a mock of one of these, right? This is the original plate that this used to sit on, the uh, wastegate actuator used to sit on. The problem was, is it would sit up there almost three inches higher than usual, right? All to move the wastegate. So now, what I did was I cut all of that down, basically made a replica of one of these for these bolt holes, and I'm going to take this little piece of linkage here, and I made another little spare. Let's see if you guys can focus. 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 There. Okay. So maybe that's too close. So I made a little piece of linkage, just, you know, two holes, so hopefully it'll fit, I know it'll fit, on this side and this side, so when the actuator goes up or down, it'll follow it. Isn't that something? Let's see if I can get you guys a little closer, here we go. Isn't that something? So I am super stoked. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, so let me put this back on the motor. I have to appreciate this at least one more time. Oh, oh this is so wonderful. Oops. So wonderful. I love when plans come together. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that just, that just makes it all worthwhile. Alright guys, sorry about the lighting. I know the lighting really sucks right now. And like I said, it's getting darker and darker, which makes it harder for this camera to focus. But anyway, this, I mean, look at this. This is just, you know, you guys, if you'd watched the previous episode, you know that it was just an absolute miserable, miserable time trying to get that to fit with the original piece of relocation pipe that I made. Didn't really work. I'm just so happy to see that. It brings the turbo up, which makes it look really awesome. I have a box of parts and stuff that I need to pull loose and get ready for you guys so you guys can see it. So tomorrow, I'm gonna work a little bit more toward that uh, part of the project. So I'm gonna see about this little, that little uh, oil drop tube, see how that's gonna work. And hopefully, when everything's all said and done, I'm not going to burn any more midnight oil on this, but when everything's all said and done, we'll have this fired up by the end of the weekend. Boom, baby. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this was so short, like I said, 
it's getting dark and it just gets oh <laughs> trying to work with this camera and dark and wrenching not a good idea totally bad so I'm gonna get up earlier tomorrow I'm gonna go shopping get another table I'm gonna get some more parts I'm gonna take those parts out of the box we're gonna do some unboxing we're gonna have a whole bunch of fun and I'll have some <sighs> oh we're just gonna have so much fun all right guys well I'll catch you guys later and thanks for watching if you like this video let me know in the comments throw down a nice little uh thumbs up for me would you anyway appreciate it catch you guys next time bye now